All right, Brian Particelli, 2Fab.com here. Pleasure to be speaking with you both today. Hey, <laughs> we're 2Fabs here. 2Fabs. Right Ex- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and yeah. to say, I'm a huge horror fan and I love Drag Race, so this was just like the perfect movie for me. Um, yeah, I had such yeah. a blast watching it, so kudos yeah. to you Yay. both. <laughs> But I guess first things first, I hear something crazy happened to you today that I need to know about. So please do tell. My makeup <laughs> fell out the airplane. Yeah, that luggage out the airplane. Fell on the plane. But that my, was my, Heidi's makeup. That's why it wrecked the car so bad. Uh, if anyone was harmed, no, no drag queens were harmed <laughs> in the making of this film um, or <laughs> interview. But we were in okay. drag and out of drag in the film, so we're just we're representing. Little... <laughs> A little bit. You still look great. What the? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> and for both of you, just how much fun was it to to make this movie? It just looks like it had to have been a blast. You're living your your Buffy fantasy. It Literally. was so much fun. Honestly, just I I think also what helped it was that we were with such a good group of people. Mm-hmm. Not just the mm-hmm. queens, but also everyone that was working on the project behind the scenes. Jim and and everyone. Kathy, remember Kathy? Oh my god, <laughs> everyone. Um, it was just such a lo- like a love project. No, yeah, and it was like the fact that we were doing stunt training and there was an acting coach it just fighting it just and that we were in south africa it just made it every day feel so like whoa i can't believe this is real and oh, like what is our this. lives right now what are we doing <laughs> right south africa that has to be amazing <laughs> it was good we actually had a couple of days off i was like oh we could still visit. did you enjoy it was beautiful it was yeah great. oh my gosh i dream about going back <laughs> oh we have to well, the I need to exactly, <laughs> which I will ask about in a second. But yeah. um, you talked a little bit about fight training. What was that like? I mean, did you have to like learn the moves and then put the heels on and learn it all over again? How, yeah, how does so that work? it's like it's like a beautiful dance. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, yes. it was so fun. And like as you're doing it, these people have you know they've done it so many times. They like tell you the meaning of why you're positioned the way you are, and they're like. Mm-hmm you have to feel the fight it's like and the guy was so scary he was he was so intimidating and hot and muscular and so i was like i have to listen to this man listen to him otherwise he's gonna yell at me he's, he, it would, it would. <laughs> and was it easy to pick up or, or was it kind of a like, challenge i kind of just when it, when it came to my fight scene i just threw myself into it i was like look mm-hmm. I, I want you to sl- throw me like you mean it. Let's do it. We're going <laughs> like, to yeah. get into it. In the moment when you have it all on and the cameras are there, it's like easy to just like go in a hundred. Lights, camera, action, print. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's and do it. How did it compare to like an acting challenge on Drag Race? Obviously, this is a much bigger scale, totally different. But did it, that prepare you maybe? It, 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 you definitely get more tanks. Oh, you get you prepared, get more tanks, <laughs> for sure. Because they want to get that good shot no matter how long it takes. Whereas in Drag Race, there's just so many moving parts. Like, they got to mm-hmm. keep going no matter what. You also get the script a lot sooner. <laughs> now, whether you read it or not, that's on you. Yeah, I'm like, girl. <laughs> if you read it, that's on you. Depending on if you read it. Who had a problem with that? Script earlier. So that helps for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't and have did, to know the whole thing. You don't. Yeah, you don't have to know the whole thing. You just and take break it day by day. day, and it's actually really nice because <laughs> stumble through your lines until some you get Some days them. you get to show up late, and <laughs> those I didn't get many of those. And, actually, and so, sometimes they just put a, a rag over a stunt double, and you don't even have to go. <laughs> you literally just. <laughs> We were literally just talking to just a, a not even you that day. I was like, this bitch. Amy. Stand in a nice body double. I was like, this body and double. So what is it like when then you see the finished product? Because you weren't there for all of it. Just how, you know, when you do see it all come together. We haven't we seen, haven't it, seen yet. it yet. So we're, oh. we're excited for the midnight premiere. <laughs> on Tubi at March 22nd. So we haven't seen it officially yet from when we're doing this interview. But we're really excited. We did record all out of order because it's just okay. depending on what, who we needed to which day and what, what we need to do <laughs> and timings and things so we have never seen it from start to finish at any point <laughs> so we don't know what it looks like fully uh-huh. together we just got the lines together but i know it's gonna be cute <laughs> it's gonna be great it yeah. is it's it's a lot of fun oh my god that all that hard work is feels great to hear. <laughs> And, you know, going into this, what were some of maybe your favorite vampires from, from film? 
Or TV. Go ahead, I guess. do it. Say it. <laughs> okay. This is so lame, but I really love the like blue and moody original Twilight movie. <laughs> um, I love how cheesy it is now, like with Edward running. Like, it just. <laughs> It's, it's very I, moody. It's it, like a that's rainy a day movie, you know. If it's like rainy and you just throw that on, like that's my vibe. <laughs> but other than that, I love True Blood. Ugh. Okay. I'm so obsessed with True Blood because it was like sexy. <laughs> oh. And, um, mm-hmm. and I just watched the new interview with the vampire. I love. Oh, it's so so, gay. so good. Um, oh, yes. So I think I just love. <laughs> I'll look that up. I'm oh, you have up. to. Um, I just love gay anything vampire, me. really. Clearly. <laughs> For me, the vampire. <laughs> Uncle Fester here. Um, <laughs> we, uh, n- I love Dracula, of course, because of the, the the older one with the, the big wigs and the big costumes. But I was sitting here thinking, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it to a different medium of vampire. I'm going to give it to the Final Fantasy VII vampire uh, companion that you get in the game. I can't remember his name right now, but he's hot. <laughs> and everyone likes a hot vampire. Or... <laughs> Ostarian from Baldur's mm-hmm. Gate 3. <laughs> Now we're talking. Come on, gamer girl. <laughs> right? Gamer girl. <laughs> and you, uh, it's Crystal, you get to have your, your Twilight moment. Obviously, not a, no big spoilers, but yes. was, as if it is one of your faves, was that fun? <laughs> um, no, yeah, it was really good, especially like since I'm a method actress, oh. like having to like oh not eat for days and just like avoiding the sun. It was like really taxing on my body. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. like, it, all that work really paid off. <laughs> yeah, and the really sexy latex. That latex outfit was so cute. She had all right? the outfit changes. made for my body. Some girls get all the outfit changes. <laughs> Only some. Only some. <laughs> but you get a, a nice love interest. Oh, the ki- the day we shot the kiss, everyone was being perverts. They were like, because we were filming something else right before it. And then as soon as we broke for the first thing, they're like, all right, now we have to set up for the kiss. And everyone's like, ooh. I was like, y'all are all perverts trying to watch us kiss. How dare you? <laughs> but it looked really good from where I was. It was so. great. I have a video of it, actually, that you recorded. I know. I have the video. I'm it's a really cinematographer I'll, as well. I'll post it a little bit after the, uh, you, oh, oh, my God, you're so talented. <laughs> and you know like, the love interest is a super fan i'm curious for both of you do you have any rules when it comes to dating super fans going out with them or has it worked I, out for you maybe on the first side okay the best <laughs> thing about your love interest is that he was begging to be trinity's drag daughter oh my god game was begging to be trinity <laughs> and drag. so that was so... Trinity. what was the, what was trinity the truck <laughs> yeah we called it trinity the truck <laughs> Um, so that was fun, but um, personally, I can't date fans only for personal reasons. Can't I can't date a fan, but I can. Uh, she will take you to her hotel room. Be intimate. Then, I can be intimate with a fan. Okay. All it's right. Date. Well, maybe well, I guess nothing wrong with fan. that. I have a partner right now, so uh, he was basically a fan, though. But, yeah. But he wasn't like a super fan. He was like, you were adequate he on the show. He was Team Crystal. He, w- he was very Team Crystal. He yeah. actually was, yeah. He was like, you did okay on the show. I'm more a fan of your friends, but you're cute, though, as a person. I was like, great. We can hang out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, this movie, you know, along with all the humor, the, the, the gore, too, you get some good critique of, you know, anti-drag hate. And I think it's a very important message to obviously incorporate in there. I'm just curious for you when you were reading the script, how much did that stand out? How did you really want to tackle that with this film? Because obviously we need it now. It it really stood out to me because also I it, it's very important, especially going into this next year with all these these uh, legislations and bills being trying to be passed and stuff. But also I feel like the way that Jim was able to do it in the film as well, made it not come off as preachy as well. So it was giving yeah. very much, this is just something that this is how it is. And they're like, it's, it was able to poke fun and bring levity to a very serious and and uh, like heavy conversation that we have to have the conversation, but if we can yeah. lighten it and make it easier to talk about, it makes it more uh, like wider and uh, available to everyone to be able to talk about. Yeah, and it kind of frames the whole thing that, like, at the end of the day, if our lives are at stake, we're all going to, like, band together right. and 
fight for each other. If the head. comet is coming from outer space, what are we gonna do? All fight each other? No, we're gonna try to figure something out. You gotta make a gun to shoot I this mean, comet. Not to get a gun to shoot the comet. <laughs> we gotta build the biggest gun right now to shoot this comet, bitch. And do. <laughs> and <laughs> that's America. Yeah, was it cathartic? <laughs> oh my god. Get the gun. <laughs> Was it cathartic for you to kind of take on the haters and fight back when you are filming those kinds of scenes? Does, does that go through your head? Def, well, I definitely used a lot of those emotions from uh, g g feeling all that for many years back in the day. I was like, well, let it mm. out now. It'd be great. Get in touch with the emotions. Feel it. Be the fantasy. <laughs> like, I honestly, and it felt just like that bar that we're in felt very much a place from home like it, it, I, like giving me the home bar. of the place so it <laughs> that was what was bar. really fun about it too is that just meshing it so much of our lives together <laughs> <laughs> throwing in vampires for fun and you know why not why not <laughs> and i'm curious for you obviously this movie takes things to the extreme but for each of you what's maybe one of your worst drag gig horror stories Ooh, there was one drag gig where there was like no bathroom and they just had me pee in a drain, <laughs> a hole in the floor. <laughs> oh, oh no. Sister. I was a Boy Scout, so I know how to rough it, but I was like, this is strange. And it's where they dumped the ice. Oh my God. Well, my worst <laughs> one wasn't anything that the, the venue did. It was more so, so I was in LA and then I had to fly, I think it was up to Salt Lake City or just, it wasn't that far. It's not that far. So, and I, it was fine. I, I went kind of dressed like this, flew, and then I started doing my makeup. I'm in my hotel room. I walk out the door and a blizzard had hit. Oh. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm wearing these. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the only shoes I brought because I go home the very next day. So I only brought like a little bit of clothes, like the clothes I wore was the, I was like, well, I'm just coming right back. And then I'm stuck <laughs> there with, with frozen feet, getting ready to go to the show. Girl, heels are a sensible slide. It was a mess, girl. It was a mess. I had socks on; they were wet. I'm like, this is too much. Good oh, shoes no. off. I hope you didn't go back there again. You lost your toe you. that Especially the bathroomless. We we no 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 I, I, mm -mm. no no no. We held it. We held the pee that day. <laughs> and you know, you talked about this earlier, wanting to maybe do a sequel. What would you like to see happen? Where would you like to go? Maybe if you get to pick, you know, your dream location. Oh God. Okay, we are. <laughs> we want to go somewhere tropical. <laughs> I just got back from doing some cruises. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, okay. If ship, what if we were fun? on a cruise ship or something? That would be amazing. <laughs> or what if, like, very like uh, a cabin in the woods? Ooh. I feel like would be a good setting that we could take it to. Yeah, we could put some werewolves in there. Oh yeah, introductions of more monsters of the world. Uh -huh. Right, maybe, you need to do your, your new moon. <laughs> <laughs> right, I see this as a whole franchise of just drag queens fighting monsters that I yeah, think. Yeah, and then we're gonna start having <laughs> dolls and toys. Yeah, and oh my god, poltergeist. <laughs> The Drag Race Horror Universe. I mean, yes, here for it. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, a cinematic universe. We're, and we're the start of it. Yes. Yes. We're the right, gay Avengers. Means we're the gay Avengers. to be in all of them. <laughs> oh my God, we got to get a picture and just like, crop our faces onto the Avengers and be like the gay Avengers. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on a totally unrelated note, but just to end this interview with, I know Nicole Kidman just did an interview where she said she wants to recreate her AMC ad with drag queens. How do we make that happen? Oh, goodness. Um, I feel like there are drag queens <laughs> foaming at the mouth for that. Yeah. So I, I'm sure she's got them all. Honey, <laughs> send a date and a time. There's girls performing this <laughs> at a location. Dressed as Nicole for their talent <laughs> numbers, like I've seen. Yeah. So, wow. Come on, queer icon. She's going to put out a date, right? time, and location. She'll have it. She'll be fine. You'll all uh -huh. be there. And I got to ask real quick, Crystal, just about your look right now. How long did it take to get ready today? Oh, yes. You know, I thought, <laughs> let's just put a bald cap on for the first time ever without practicing. And At least you didn't do it all drag race. That's what here we are. Um, no, I think it turned out kind of cute. I stoned these ears last night. They're, the ears are probably my favorite part. Those are funny. awesome. Um, <laughs> and this is something I did. I, I, I would love to recycle. So I wore this for a Christmas tour where I was um, a ghost. 
<laughs> oh. Can you believe this was she's, just she's already crafty. in the closet? She's she crafty. just already has these amazing, incredible garments just lying around. Oh, this whole thing. <laughs> well, That's just crystal. It has been... <laughs> like she does. <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure speaking with both of you. I had such a blast watching this movie. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. And oh. yeah, I hope we get more of them. Absolutely, oh, please. Thank yeah. you, Brian. Thank you so much. All right, Sean. have a good one. 